It's beer o'clock on Milo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brava Lotny Tres Compli, and it's a bottle of their Misty Contemporary IPA, coming in at 5.5% ABV. There's a look at the label. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. So by a contemporary IPA, I think it looks to me like they've added some oats to the beer. It's bottle conditioned. Unfiltered, unfined. Yeah, so we're probably talking, and I've had a little, I can, my nose is pretty good. We're to, probably talking Vermont style IPA. Doesn't that look absolutely terrific? Polish craft beer then. I think this is my first hazy beer from, from, from Poland. I used to make a lot of American IPAs back in the day, uh, three, four years ago, two years ago. but it just smells terrific. Grapefruit, pineapple, mango, peach. It's a little piney. Orange peel, smells tremendous. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. I gotta put that down. Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows! What an absolutely fantastic beer! The drinkability is absolutely terrific. It just floats down, it just slides down. Nice level of carbonation, slightly kind of pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, but it's not enough to kind of kind of bloat you out, you know, fill you up with carbonation. It's enough to give you a little hiss, a little spring on the palate just to push the beer around and then it just it really does float down that's the best description i can give you on on the mouthfeel it's almost creamy with the oats that they've used uh, in the beer tremendous tremendous beer let's next talk about the flavor grapefruit Mango, citrus, pineapple, a little bit of pine needle. The balance is terrific. There's a nice amount of biscuit malt to begin with, but then there's next to no bitterness. This is all about taking away that bitterness and just having full on juice like mango tropical fruit flavours. Absolutely ter terrific, terrific beer. I have reviewed a previous beer. Let me just grab it. It's just by there. I have reviewed another beer from uh, Tres Compli, uh, probably a uh, Bravolotny, probably about two or three years ago. It was called Pan y Pani, a Wheat India Pale Ale. That was terrific also. And look, it is hazy, so maybe... Maybe this isn't my first hazy beer from Poland. Maybe I just forgot that I had some hazy beer from Poland. But I'm just saying that, that this, this is my second beer now from this brewery. Maybe second or third beer from this brewery. And it is absolutely fantastic. The quality of their beer is second to none. Let's rate it. It's available from beer52.com. Beer52.com. Link is in the description box of the video. Uh, they're doing a Polish box, a Polish month. Um, if you can make it, if you can order some uh, June 2018, please order some. Please try some. It's really, really good. Let's rate it. Amazing. Why am I putting it over there? I like that beer enough. I can't take anything away from that beer. There is not anything in my mind that's going, let's be a bit cynical, let's let's give it a nine, or an eight and a half. Generally when I'm doing beer reviews, and I love a beer that much, I generally go, 
10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.